Marcus Conti reporting on the CNN debates. The Democratic and National Committee debates are coming up in July, July 30th, 30th, and July 31st. So these are the, uh, this is the, CNN has presented the 10-car pileup for the first evening, Tuesday, July 30th. This is interesting. I like it. I like it. So you got Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren on the same stage. And Mayor Pete Buttigieg and Beto O'Rourke. I'm surprised Beto O'Rourke is still hanging in there. With uh, sprinkling a little Amy Klobuchar. And that's about it, right? The rest of them are all shit sandwiches. You got Marianne Wilson, who shouldn't be on the stage. John Delaney, Hinkle Looper, Tim Ryan, Steve Bullock. All right, so these are all crappers, right? They're, they're, they're there just sucking up the time in the space. But the real war here on the first night, and then we'll talk about the other night, in my view, is Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren. Now, they have different audiences. Bernie Sanders is, has his established audience, and there is speculation that uh, Elizabeth Warren is tapping into his crowd, is, is, is making inroads into the, quote, progressive crowd. Now, is this, this is an opportunity to see what exactly happens. Will Bernie Sanders take off the gloves and smash Elizabeth Warren's face into the ground, which he's supposed to? Forget about bait Pete Betajag and, and Beto O'Rourke. Whoever attacks you, just go back to Elizabeth Warren because none of these idiots are going to be president of the United States. The only one that has any possibility in this right here is Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren on, on Tuesday, July 30th. So, Bernie Sanders... Your job is to smile, be nice, and let everybody in the audience know that all of the, all of the progressive values of Medicare for all, of college tuition free, all of these get money out of politics, all of this stuff is your idea and always has been your idea. Let the people know that it's fucking your idea, Bernie. Let them know, right? You don't have to insult Elizabeth Warren, but don't let her get away with anything, right? She's a turncoat. Right? Point out her record of turning to the Democrats and saying, fuck you to the people. Focus on the, on the record, but don't be nice with her. Don't play patty cake. Yeah, 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 I love this lady, but here's, here's what she did to, the, to these people. Here's what she said about those people. Right? I'm no expert on the details, but you, you figure it out because you know the details. But the, the object is to, is to smile and be, be friendly, Bernie, be be uh, upbeat. Be the be the front runner. Don't let these jerk offs, you know, in the bottom row, the bottom row, of, you know, cocksmokers say anything to you. Don't even listen to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, I'm the front runner because 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 I know what I'm doing. I was there, and you you've got seventy percent of the the popularity in this country. Everybody wants you, Bernie. Everybody wants you. So that's July thirtieth. The commentators, uh, I, I don't believe, have been picked yet. So we'll see how they're going to shaft uh, Bernie Sanders. Very, very interesting stuff. So that's Tuesday, July 30th, and Wednesday, July 31st. None of these people will be president of the United States. Now, this is good because they'll put Joe Biden and Kamala Harris right next to each other. right? And hopefully they'll put Kirsten Gillibrand on the other side of Joe Biden, and it'll just have like, it'll be like a cunt sandwich, like two fucking... Like two cunt, cunt, and dick. <laughs> Something like that, right? They'll just keep talking. They just fucking keep talking over him. And the object is, while they're, while they're character assassinating Joe Biden, hopefully Tulsi Gabbard will talk about something else besides the fact that she's an Irani, Iraqi war veteran and, and all that stuff. And, and war is bad. We know that. But, <clears throat> excuse me, you've got to relate to the people, Tulsi. This is your opportunity. You've got nothing but shit sandwiches. And I got to tell you, man, Mr. Fucking, if Andrew Yang pulls out his sense of humor, he's going to win the day, right? And Joe, and, and Bill de Blasio is a skilled debater. He's going to shout over everybody with something quality because he's good at it, right? He's a total phony and a fake and a bullshit artist, but he's got, he's got talent to, to be able to throw in his two cents, right? So... So that's the, the real deal. Joe Biden, I don't know how he's hanging on, man. Joe Biden, crush Joe Biden. Let Camilla Harris crush Joe Biden. Let her play the, the race card crushing Joe Biden, thereby crushing herself, eliminating herself. And hopefully we could get some... Julian Castro shows no signs of anything, 
Corey Booker is a, is a, a turd. Uh, Inslee, forget about. Bennett, forget about. Right. Kristen Gillibrand just likes to hear herself talk. It's the only reason she's in there. And, um, right, so there you go. So I would like to see, you know, we, I'll be looking to see Tulsi Gabbard kindly make a move to the front, kindly speak up on progressive values. Stop with all the war stuff. We already know that. We know that about you. Talk about the economy. Talk about uh, leadership as the president, right? Fucking, I, I would be very surprised if... Joe Biden survives this one. And I'm telling you, Joe, if Andrew Yang, Andrew Yang, man, if he pulls out his sense of humor, he's going to win. He's going he's gonna to win the, the, uh, the conversation for that night. But again, none of these will be president. Two of these might be president, right? And, it's, and two, two of them might be president and vice president, right? If you want to win, Democrats, it's an easy pick, Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, VP. It's it's a, it's such a, a easy win. Don't you get it? Easy fucking right in there, man. Right in there. Right in the pocket. So um, so there you go. You know, let's hurry up and wait. Hopefully they'll pick they'll pick legitimate candidates. Hopefully they won't stack it like they usually will. If it's Donna Brazil, you know, she's a cheater, right? They cheat. Right? They cheated the last time, 2016. Why wouldn't they cheat this time? Of course. Got to watch for the cheating, right? Got to watch for the cheating, man. Is Bernie's, are they going to shut off Bernie's headpiece so he can't hear the question and look like an old man? What? What? I can't hear you. What? They, they do. They shut off, they shut the sound off so you can't hear the question. And it makes you look, makes you look stupid. Or they'll cut his mic out, <laughs> put him against a, put him against a, a, a gray background so he looks like he's a corpse. He uh, looks, he's already 70, he looks like he's 170, right? They'll, they'll play all those tricks on them. So uh, Marcus Conte reporting. Kindly become a Patreon of this channel by subscribing and 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 becoming a Patreon and a, and send some money through PayPal so I could eat, man. I'm fucking starving, man. The ribs are showing and shit, man. Marcus Conte reporting. <laughs>